What's up guys, um, back at the swap meet, um, just got here and uh, did buy GameCube, the GameCube controller, memory card, and a game inside. I am not going to show you the game till I get home, but uh, got it for 20 bucks, tried to lower the guy to 15 but he didn't want to, but uh, with that game in there, it's that game's probably worth those 20 bucks. So I do get my money back if I do sell the game, which I don't know. Uh, the only reason about the GameCube was because um, my friend actually wants one, uh, and I complete one. So I did get the GameCube controller, memory card, and then uh, uh, one game. So uh, I just brought it back to my car because I don't want to carry it around too heavy, and. Uh, I'll be back to it over here. So uh, I try to record some more stuff if I find some. So I'll see you guys in it. Okay, so it's later on in the day. Still the swap, uh, flea market, whatever you want to call it. Um, did find some stuff. The stuff I showed you in the little clippy uh, before this one. Uh, got some stuff right here. Sneak peek. Uh, spent uh, 10 bucks on this bag. So I'll show you guys once I get home. Just putting it back in my car. This one's actually heavier. Venga para acá. El poste para que le sirve. All right, guys. So here we are after savers. Um, I didn't get everything that I showed you guys on the clip. I didn't get the PS2 games because um, I was more interested on this. But uh, here I'll just show you real quick what I paid for everything. I only bought four items, so I paid twenty-eight dollars and ten cents. You can see right here, and uh, there's that. So I'll show you guys what I got. So first, I did get, sorry, got out of focus, over there some dumpster dives, I've got, uh, dumpster finds, sorry. So uh, let me show you real quick, leave this game to the end, but I did get Bomberman, Super Bomberman 2 for Super Nintendo, $6.99, all the games were $6.99, so got this one. Uh, this one's worth about uh, $26 on eBay, roughly $26. Then I got Star Fox, um, never played this game before, uh, got it, could look kind of interesting, a lot of people play this game, so that's why I got it. Um, this one's roughly about $12, I think, $6 here. And the last game I found, well I bought, sorry, was of course Secret of Mana, uh, 6 bucks, very great condition, all these games are great condition, whoever donat donated this was, uh, took care of their games. Um, got this game, uh, this game's worth about $50, $55 loose, I think new is like, new is like one, like 1000 and the complete is about like 150 or something like that. But then I got the, uh, the last thing I got was Super Nintendo, uh, I've never owned a Super Nintendo, I've only owned a NES, but uh, got this today, uh, 8 bucks. 
very clean no sun damage no yellowing um it is kind of dirty i'm gonna clean it when i get home but um yeah guys got this whole lot for 28 dollars um i'm probably gonna keep all the games for now i am probably gonna um find all the cables and controllers either trade on e uh, facebook or on craigslist but uh, there's that guys for for now I'm gonna go see if I can find some more stuff thrifting and uh, see you guys later hey guys big now five here and today I bring you a weekend's pickup uh, did go to a, a, thrift, a thrift store and uh, the swap meet flea market so Let's get started with um, with the games I got. Um, as you've seen in the clips before, there was one day where I went and I started giving up because it was a long time. Uh, I was there for a long time. I didn't find anything. And the first thing I found was, um, correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm saying it wrong, um, but I've never seen this game before and I've never played this before. And I guess it's Quan. Quan. Um, the only reason I got this was because I was like desperate of like finding games. Uh, I went to this guy's booth. Uh, he had this like right in front of his booth, and I just picked it up, uh, saw the back, and uh, as you can see, it looks kind of scary right there. And what caught my eye was this like zombie guy on his four limbs, looking up, looks like a spider. Pretty cool game. Uh, Looked it up real quick, and it is like it runs like sixty bucks. Yeah, around sixty bucks for PS2. Um, it is complete, manual and game. And I'll show you real quick. It has light scratches, not that many. I mean, I'm pretty sure it will play. Uh, picked this up for only three dollars. Three dollars. Uh, so there's mad profit there. But I am gonna keep. I'm gonna play through it, and maybe in the long run. Uh, sell it on eBay or something traded uh, then the same day I did find um, sound the clip as well uh, Sega Genesis just like this and what caught my eye was this part right here so this is the model one right here in the bottom and the thing that's up here it's called the Sega power base converter I'll show you real quick so what this is it's an adapter so you could play Sega Master System games on a Sega Genesis because the Sega Master uh, for some of you that don't know uh, Sega Master System came out first and then this one so uh, the games for the Master System are like a little bit smaller as you can see right here you just put this little door open right here pop the game in and you could play uh, Sega Master System on your Sega Genesis um, also right here is a card reader uh, some of the uh, Sega Master System games were actually cards, or like this big, and they're actually like card games, like I guess like DS and PS Vita ones, but like they're bigger, and they would go in here, and Sega Master System games over here, and back here this it does come with the the little screw right, screw, so you can screw it in. This just pops. Let me just pop it open. See, it's just the uh, power base converter and it does have the same design as the Sega uh, Genesis game and it just pops on top of it just like this push it in and then you just screw on this this screw the cool thing about it is uh, this runs about by itself I think the top is like fifty dollars I'm not sure and I mean pretty good condition just has a little scratches I have to like not scratches they're like marker so I have to like wipe those down uh, get got this whole like, gen Genesis with this on top for five dollars so that's a good deal five bucks um, this week I guess it was like Sega Masters uh, I mean Sega Genesis week because I did buy another Sega Genesis I'll show you right now um, but I do own like seven Genesis already but I am gonna plan on selling the consoles uh, I am gonna keep a complete one like I guess either that one or the other one 
just a complete one and then sell the rest but um I'll show you what I got at swap meet this week I did say in the clip that I did find I did buy a GameCube uh, so the, the bag's right here Let's see real quick. everything in this bag was 10 bucks I mean 20 sorry so I did get a controller pretty nice controller none of the joysticks are loose so that's pretty awesome uh, pretty good condition uh, the, the the guy there did have two GameCubes and one of them had uh, one of the GameCube was just there it was a black one and he had, he had a, two black ones one GameCube was just there it was just the GameCube and Spongebob something uh, one of the Spongebob games in it and then next to it was this one which is a GameCube let me show you real quick black GameCube like this with memory card all the panels on the bottom, uh, controller and a game inside for $20. Um, did ask the guy to lower it down, but he didn't want to. But I was like, alright, whatever. Uh, didn't pick up the other one because it didn't have the panels. And I'm really picky about the panels. I like my consoles complete. Um, and the game inside, let me show you real quick. It's Mario Sunshine. Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, does have some light scratches. Um, but did test it out everything works only thing wrong with it is like all game cubes the, uh, the open button gets stuck a little bit just gotta clean it out and the reset buttons a bit uh, pushed in but I mean there's no problem in that got this for 20 bucks uh, the game alone is 20 bucks on, on any website I guess so we're gonna sell probably Cause all, the only reason, like I said, I bought the GameCube was a, cause a friend wanted a GameCube. So I'm just gonna resell the GameCube, make that uh, profit, so I could buy some more video games and for the channel. Uh, next, bought another bag, went to another vendor. I spent ten bucks on this one. Let me just show you real quick. I went up to this guy, um, and he had a bunch of Sega Genesis. Uh, Game Gears, he had like three Game Gears, uh, like four Ataris, and a bunch of well cables, controllers, and stuff like that. And he had a stack of I, I'm pretty sure it was like 15, yeah, probably like 15 Sega Genesis games. Uh, some were sealed, uh, but I didn't pick them up. I, th I think you could uh, go back and check um, on the little clip, uh, the stack of games, um, but they were mostly sports games, which I wasn't interested in. And, um, I mean, he was a reseller because I, I asked him where he got all the stuff from. He said he bought an, uh, uh, what's it, was it, the auction units, like a storage unit. And, uh, he got all this. And he even showed me a stack of games he had in, the, in his truck that were, like, a bit more expensive. All the games that you saw in the little clip, uh, like the NES and the NES games were about 3, three for 10 or something like that. But I didn't pick up no game. Just picked up this system right here oh sorry so what this is is the Sega Genesis Model 2 right here you can slide it out this is where it connects right here and this is a Sega CD now what Sega did uh, back then uh, to upgrade was make games into a CD because it was getting more popular and this is their adapter huge monstrous thing uh, didn't get the adapter but I mean I could find those anywhere but does it's pretty dirty, just dust. As you can see, and I mean it does open and stuff. I haven't tested it out. Just gotta clean it up a bit, find all the cables, and uh, got this for five bucks. This also runs, uh, I think, complete like with all the cables and stuff. It could go up to like a hundred bucks, but like this, I think I could get like probably 70, 60 bucks like this with the Sega Genesis. And Sega CD, so I spent five bucks on that. And the guy, when I went up to him, I was looking for a Super Nintendo controller, so I got that. And he wanted three dollars a piece, like for the wires. Um, so I got Super Nintendo controller and uh, GameCube power brick. He said three bucks, but since I got uh, the cable power supply. 
um, the controller and the Sega Master System, I mean Sega CD. Uh, he just said 10 bucks because I was 5 and this was 6, so it'd be 11. So he just, he's just like, just give me 10 bucks. And I was like, alright. So that was this week. Now, the jackpot, well, for me, is uh, I went to Savers. You saw the little clip of me showing you all the games. Um, that was the first time ever I found games out of Savers. Um, if you guys don't know, Savers is kind of like a Goodwill where you go donate stuff and then they sell it, I guess. But like I said, I did get a Super Nintendo. I've never, did I? No, I've never owned a Super Nintendo. That's why I got it. Uh, I cleaned it up. It looks nicer. So did get that. Just recap. Eight bucks for Super Nintendo. Then the games. I'll show you the games I got. I've um, show you real quick. Recap. So I did get Super Bomberman 2 for six bucks. Star Fox. Star Fox, sorry, for six bucks as well. And the best game of the lot is uh, Secret of Mana for six bucks. And uh, the cool thing about it was uh, I wasn't really uh, planning on going on to Savers. I was just close to it and I just went and did find find that. I uh, did go the next uh, day to see if they had like separated the controllers and the power supply to see if I could get it, but. Um, when I went, all the all the games that I left there were gone. So good thing I went that day to buy it, and um, did spend twenty eight dollars on that. But uh, I could flip. Uh, I think I'll just nah. I'm just gonna keep all the NES. The only thing that I would sell is gonna be the power uh, Sega Power Converter, and the CD Sega CD, and the GameCube, and the rest I'm gonna uh, keep, and make money off of whatever I just said. So I could buy some more games. And uh, that's about it guys. For this week. I'm probably going to do either a giveaway next. Or uh, another game style done should dive video. So just keep up with my videos. Like I said before. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. And uh, I might do an Instagram. Make an Instagram so I could uh, interact with you guys some more. So you guys could get like a sneak peek of my next video that's coming up. And uh, that's about it guys. And I'll see you guys later.